Oh my god, oh my god. That's all I love. Uh, crabs and uh, shrimps and scallops and... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is trubach. I don't know how to translate it in English, but it's all uh, spectacular. And what is this? <laughs> what is this? I'm not a foreign journalist. <laughs> they say foreign journalist. No, I'm Marina from Russia. So 1,300 uh, rubles for fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, shrimps and 1000 rubles for small fish or well, small shrimps uh, i forgot all the words hello my dear viewers and i'm marina welcome to my new vlog about the most delicious food in the world i'm traveling around far east of russia and now i spend time at the local market local fish and caviar market and I have no words at all. Please stay with me. I need your help uh, to to feel better. Let's get started to explore it. My dear viewers, this is the most uh, exotic and uh, and uh, uh, eye-catching market in the world. Just have a look. Uh, fresh, fresh fish, different kinds of fish and herring and everything. We are in the far east region of Russia. Oh, people here are very very friendly they are very good sellers and they say you're welcome um, me so you you can shoot a video of our of our barrels of caviar 300 3500 rubles for one kilo of uh, um, salmon caviar and a little bit more and you see there are a lot of people and even pensioners and uh, the prices are rather affordable here The Pacific Ocean in this region is very, very rich, so you can see a great deal of different kinds of caviar, a lot of crabs, crab meat, and um, uh, what's price for caviar? 1,800 rubles for half a kilo. It is a half kilogram, For half a kilo, yes. Good price. Very good red caviar. Fresh, fresh. And this is the section of of fish bellies. <laughs> you see, it's only 150 rubles, one and a half dollar for one kilo of um, uh, smoked fish bellies. Nobody likes it, or what? I don't know. Uh, what about uh, herring? Fresh herring. The price is uh, 250 rubles for one kilo. I'm so sorry, guys, that, that you cannot feel this extraordinary smoked smell but i will show you and try to imagine that you are here with me it's really great great abundance how russians live everywhere 9000 kilometers from moscow for example in 2023 it's autumn time now guys everybody buy fish here in Far East. This is Yuzhna Sakhalinsk city. And just have a look. I want to show you the prices. So, oh my God, uh, he's packing something for, for clients. I want to buy it too. I want to buy it as well. He will never stop, you know. As I mentioned before, all people buy delicacies. Because caviar is not a delicacy for us, for Russians, at all. I also uh, bought uh, two kilos already. As for fresh fish, the prices are really amazing. Who told me that everything is uh, so and, um, uh, unbelievably uh, expensive here? You see, one kilo of herring is, uh, frozen herring, is 150 rubles. And this is... Uh, Kita, I don't remember its, um, its name in English, 200 rubles, 250 rubles for one kilo. And uh, uh, luxury Kita is uh, silver Kita, 350 rubles. Mm, and I have a look. 
and uh, uh, caviar is uh, four thousand uh, rubles for one kilo. But one kilo is too much. We're talking about caviar, not just uh, potato, for example. Oh, you see my friend blogger Kirill. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, and, uh, what about uh, frozen fish? Uh, Two hundred fifty rubles. Of course, it's all fresh. It's all uh, right from from the sea. But uh, fish uh, cannot be saved for a long time without uh, fridge, and that's why it's a little bit frozen. But it's really fresh because the smell is perfect. Two hundred fifty rubles. What else we can see here? There are a great deal of people, really. It's difficult for me to come closer sometimes. Uh, do you know what's this? It's the type of cooking fish. Uh, yukola. It is yukola, da? Yukola. Uh, you see, it's uh, dry uh, and um, um, smoked uh, fish. It's very tasty and it's a really kind of delicacy. And you see, prices are really very nice. 106 rubles for these uh, sticks. Mm, dried sticks and uh, 1,300 and uh, uh, you can buy uh, just uh, uh, a package for example of uh, of this fish I will uh, I will open my vocabulary now and try to find its name Kita the vocabulary says it's a charm salmon I don't know am I right or not but it's very delicious it's like salmon just another kinds of salmon or all, all, all these and prices are really very very affordable just uh, um, divide by 100 and you'll get price in dollars for one kilo oh as for me I adore this salty uh, salty fish just have a look have a look my dear viewers Hold on, Marina, hold on. Don't cry, please. Oh, can I touch it? <laughs> yeah, спасибо. Everything looks very delicious and fresh, and the smell here is wonderful. Believe me, please. It's all attractive and it's abundance. Um, I'm, not, I, I, I'm not tired to tell you in all my videos, we live in abundance. Russian people live in abundance. It's true. Cherpuk. Uh, Again, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be in English. Six hundred fifty rubles. Uh, smoked herring and the head of turbot. Eight hundred fifty. And this is something, uh, something uh, spectacular for me. Scallops, fresh scallops. They live in a shell and um, its price is 2,000 rubles for one kilo. And uh, the best uh, way of cooking is to fry it uh, five minutes with uh, butter. But we don't have it in Moscow, only frozen, not fresh. And again, a kind of uh, salmon, you see, uh, but it's a uh, luxury mm, fish, uh, 1,600 rubles and uh, 1,200 rubles for one kilo. and. This is trout, local trout, 1,700 uh, rubles. And fresh, fresh uh, trout, rainbow, I think. Um, you see, the price is uh, again affordable. My dear friends, Far East of Russia by a large margin impact my point of view to food at all. I see that here you can eat only um, seafood and fish and you may be happy because of these um, um, different kinds of uh, delicious food every day. Uh, you can easily live without meat, for example. Oh, what I see, a Korean corner. Mm, everything is very, very attractive and uh, bright. Uh, you see, I think it's all spicy. And uh, you know what's this? Kimchi. It's um, uh, lettuce with um, spicy. Yeah, and I, you see what I have? 
I have a fork and I want to try something. Uh, not this. <laughs> uh, not this. Um, this is um, daikon or something and this is flounder. So um, I am looking forward to eating, to trying a piece of flounder with, uh, with spices. Let's see what this. You know, my dear viewers, that I can't live without trying um, unknown food. I don't feel the taste of flounder. I feel the taste of hot pepper. Sorry. <sighs> no, never in my life. Under no circumstances. Circumstances. <laughs> it's too hot. E extremely hot. Uh, let's continue uh, inside the market. I adore this forest region. They have everything we have in Moscow. But uh, uh, two times um, more expensive, of course. You know, the prices I uh, showed you for many times uh, at our local markets and now and now here, um, blueberry 1000 rubles, in Moscow 500 rubles, uh, apples 250 rubles, in Moscow it's 100 rubles for one kilo. Yeah, 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 it's expensive region. Kirill, will you help me? Hello. Welcome to, tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the market. Oh. Uh, this is, of course, the first time I'm here. And I, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Teas and uh, chocolate candy, candies. Uh. <laughs> and I see a lot of um, Japanese and Korean food here because we are neighbors. Ah, oh, what I love. Oh, have a look. And honey, and what else? Dry fruit and nuts. Like everywhere in Russia. Yes, of course, now I'm 9,000 kilometers from Moscow. I'm very far away from, from our capital. I'm traveling around far east of Russia. And I admire every time when I see all this. You know what I think? I think it's all uh, because of uh, because of sanctions imposed on our beloved Russia uh, one and a half years ago. We started to live better and every month we live better and better. Have you seen flounder for 200 rubles for one kilo, fresh flounder? And, um, and octopus for, fresh octopus for 900 rubles. And um, crab meat for 2,500 rubles for one kilo. Mm, it's great. The best present from um, from Far East for our fr Moscow friends is chocolate with chocolate with scallop, for example, or chocolate with um, with um, spirulina, <laughs> or with uh, sea salt. You see? Of course, prices here inside this uh, building, uh, inside market. Um, are more expensive um, more expensive it's true but uh, it is very convenient to uh, buy something here you see uh, the balance is is overwhelming my eyes are somewhere somewhere here and and there I don't know where oh, oh my god what I see I will show you right now but write down in comments what would you buy here in this market and let's go on. Different packs of caviar. And uh, guys, I have no words. You, you see by your own eyes everything. You see all this. 
and prices are a low i would say 700 rubles for one kilo it's chum salmon if i remember rightly it's for me it's something it's like i'm somewhere in space uh, let's take a picture of it As I told you before, I adore scallops, you see. A package of scallop is 1,300 rubles. Uh, mm, it's in vacuum and I think I can uh, bring it at home and cook it. And what about crabs? Uh, 2,300 rubles. Fresh meat of crabs. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. All this is a kind of paradise, you know? I think I can swim in, in this caviar. And it's, it's everywhere, everywhere, and people buy it. You see? I show you the customers on purpose. A new fish, new food is coming and coming. And you see again octopus and flounder and different uh, fish, fresh fish. And if you want to buy a live cra crab, you are welcome. Or oysters. Uh, yesterday we had an oysters party here and I cannot even see oysters anymore. Sorry. A great deal, a great variety of Korean food. Ah, I cannot uh, comment it because I don't know what's this. Uh, it's uh, uh, something traditional. Um, uh, I see zucchini, uh, zucchini with the spices and um, shells with spices and uh, mm, pepper with spices and everything with spices and whew, I don't feel good after spicy flounder still. Uh, that's why I'm not going to buy all this. But you see, prices are for 100 grams. Uh, the name of um, type of cooking is he. This is he from uh, Tarbot, for example, or he from um, from uh, from scallop. It's not the end, guys. This is endless section of Korean food. You know, all of you know uh, Korean carrot. It's traditional Russian Korean uh, carrot now. And this is what? Cucumbers, Korean cucumbers. And um, 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 mushrooms. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's over. And now, I face a great problem. What to buy for presents for my friends, for my always hungry Moscow friends. I think three or four kilos of different kinds of smoked fish. And uh, I have already two kilos of different kinds of caviar. And what else? Because it's not enough. If you are tired of eating meat, you can try. You can try, and I can try. I would show. I can try meat. If you are tired of eating fish, I would say. Mmm. Very nice. But I don't need. It. My dear viewers at Moscow markets, uh, we are used to meat. The sellers from Uzbekistan, from Tajikistan, just from Middle Asia. And here is a big, big section of Chinese um, sellers and Chinese. This is Chinese part of uh, Far East market. Hmm? Yeah, of course, they are, we are neighbors here. 
this Far East region uh, of Russia is located uh, so close to uh, Japan, to Korea, to China, and this is the row of Chinese farmers. Ah, typical Chinese way of trading. <laughs> Great. Let's have a look what's here. And I'm interested in prices. Здравствуйте. А сколько помидорки стоит у вас? Сколько? 120. It's very cheap for this region. Agurci. 120 rubles for one kilo. Great. Это китайское все у вас, да? Ah, it's from China. China, nice to see you. Ah, if you like uh, to eat uh, Chinese uh, food, and you have a chance to visit Chinese uh, uh, national market uh, in Russia. <laughs> but I would say tomatoes are rather good, but they don't smell like many food in China. But people like to buy it because it's really it's uh, not expensive. <laughs> Chinese language is everywhere, but they speak good Russian. I've never tried Chinese potato. And you, my dear viewers, maybe I tried, but I didn't know about that. And Chinese carrot, and this is Chinese lettuce. Uh, its price is 100 rubles for one kilo. Mm, in Moscow, I buy it uh, 80 rubles for one kilo. Of course fish and caviar sections are more interesting but uh, for me it's really amazing to uh, to see this uh, Chinese Chinese market <laughs> and Chinese garlic without smell and Chinese big big lettuce again this, Ch <laughs> this Chinese uh, woman, she has been living in Russia for 18 years and she's a farmer. She says uh, they grow all this uh, here in Russia, not in China. But I don't know how to believe them. And you see spices from Chinese, very hot spices, red hot chili pepper. All of them try to convince me that uh, all this uh, food is local, not from China. Maybe yes, maybe not. Uh, have a look. The sun is shining brightly right now. And that's why the food looks more beautiful than ever. А сколько стоит перчик такой? 250. 250 rubles for one kilo. Это острый, да? It's very hot, hot pepper. And uh, the kabachkis, how much is it? 40. 40 rubles for zucchini, for one kilo. 40 rubles is uh, 40 cents for today's rate of exchange. You know, one uh, uh, dollar is approximately 100 rubles. A uh, chisnok, how much is it? 450. 450 rubles for one kilo of uh, Chinese uh, uh, garlic. And a lot, of, a lot of tomatoes again, pumpkins. I don't understand the trick. <laughs> All the sellers uh, from China uh, say that uh, all these products are from Russia, but they are from China. Uh, I don't understand this uh, secret. <laughs> okay, 90 rubles for onion, a rather good onion. Uh, we decided to change the location because locals told us a secret, um, a top secret where to buy fish and caviar much more cheaper than at the local market. And have a look, my dear viewers, what I've got here, Bella Cola. Um, it's pro produced uh, in uh, Belarus, our friend Belarus. And uh, um, now it's, uh, you can buy it here in Yuzhny Sakhalinsk, nine thousand kilometers from from the place of its uh, production hmm? um, it seems to me I'm somewhere on on the south of Russia but I'm still in Far East and just have a look what we have uh, the city Yuzhny Sokolinsk is so cozy uh, and um, and wealthy have a look at this 
Forest Mushrooms. Здравствуйте. А сколько стоят грибочки? Вот эти по 300. Mm -hmm. 300 рублей. For one pack. Yeah, have a look. It's a small fish store. Very cozy. And so comfortable. You may choose anything you want here. For example, for example, Riba Mirka. You see? I have to check out all the prices to, first of all, to, to learn it <laughs> and to understand it, first of all, what's, what's here uh, according to this price. Oh my god. I don't eat octopus because um, I know that they are clever like dolphins. That's why uh, I don't feel I need to eat it. Just close this section. Thanks God, the seller helps customers because yeah, fantastic, fantastic, wealthy region. Just have a look, everything looks so, so tasty. I think I can choose frozen, uh, fresh frozen scallops and uh, crab meat, but I don't see the prices. I'm so happy I bought five kilos of delicacies, different kinds of fish and scallops and Caviar and here is the link to my best video about about Russian markets.